Let me hear what Lena has to say. Well, you know what? She doesn't know your mother. Actually, I do. I worked for her, remember? Okay, well, this is totally different. Maggie, come on. I'm the one who asked Lena for her opinion. Let's let her talk. <sighs> Fine. Let's hear it. Bianca, every day that your baby grows inside you, you become more the woman that you want to be. And your mother needs to accept that, but how can she if you hide the truth? Again, what if Eric can't handle the truth? Well, that's too bad for Erica. I'm sorry. Bianca can't be making decisions for herself and her baby based on what's best for her mother. Erica is actually only part of the problem here. Because in a few days, Bianca's sister is going to be standing trial for murder. I mean, at first, yes, it will be Kendall that is the star attraction, but the main interest story will be Bianca pregnant with Michael Cambius's baby. Do you know how hot and heavy that spotlight's going to get? You do not need that. You know what? I might not have a choice. Well, what about your exit strategy? I mean, you were going to get gone and have the baby someplace where no one knows you. Well, I know, and that is just fine for me, but what about Kendall? What about my sister? She's going to need me in that courtroom. I can't just duck out on her because I'm afraid that people are going to find out that I'm pregnant. Well, have you run any of this by Kendall? No, I haven't, not yet. Well, maybe you should before you make your decision. Because this could really affect her defense. Her claim that she's the one having Michael's baby. Yeah, well, for the time being, the world can go on thinking that she is. All that I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell my mother in confidence, just the two of us, that that Kendall made up her baby in order to protect me and that I'm the one who's really pregnant. And that's really brave of you. Well, I just don't get it because, you know, you wanted to keep this all under wraps. I don't understand what's changed. All right, well, I will tell you what's changed. But you guys have to promise me that you're not going to laugh and that you're not going to ship me off to Oak Haven. <laughs> Okay, we promise. What is it? What happened to change your mind? My very own Christmas miracle. Okay. Um, well, the beginning, I guess, um, is when I got pregnant. When I was raped. And up until Christmas Eve, I was terrified that if anybody found out how my baby was created that they would judge her and that that shame would make her hate herself. Which is why you wanted to have the baby someplace where no one knew you. Right. But what I didn't realize was I was afraid that I would hate her too. No. That could never happen. Well, I, I thought that if no one knew where she came from then I wouldn't have to face the truth either. And I think that's what I've been doing the whole time. I think, even though I kept saying that this baby would make everything better, that deep down inside, I was afraid that she was just going to make everything worse. So on Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve, I was forced to face my fear. I was really, really lost and really hopeless. And then I sent up an SOS to my grandma Mona and the next thing I know I'm following the sound of church bells and it leads me to this tiny little chapel and a baby that nobody wanted tucked away in a manger. A real baby? He was real to me. And he needed me. And I took care of him. I fed him and I held him and I sang to him and I cried with him. And the next thing I knew, without even realizing it, I started to fall in love with him. And you didn't know where he came from? No, that was the thing. Like, it didn't matter who his parents were or where he came from. It wouldn't have changed the way I felt about him one bit and then it was like the sky opened up and suddenly everything made sense and I knew that 
every child is a gift from God. And I knew that I could love this baby, that I will love my baby. And that nothing else matters. Okay, Aunt Maggie went in here. Tough girl. Look, if, if you really want to go through with this and tell your mom that you're having the baby, Lena and I will be right behind you. About ten feet or so. <laughs> oh, I see. So you're, you're chicken. No. No, really. I mean, if this is the road that you want to take, then who am I to block traffic? We will be right behind you. Well, that's great. And thanks. I know that I can count on you guys 100%. But in all fairness to my mom, I think that I'm going to have to tell her this. One on one. Heart to heart. Just daughter to mother. Just the two of us. Make that three. All right. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm out of here. You're gonna need plenty of sleep if you're gonna face Erica with the truth. Oh, no, I, I can't possibly sleep. I, I think I'm gonna tell her this right now. What are you talking? You can't do that. It's too late. She's right. It's the middle of the night. I don't care. I, I have to. If I don't tell her this now, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my nerve. Okay, would well, you want me to give you a ride? No, no, I want to drive myself. Well, can I at least stay here and wait for you? I, I would love that. I mean, Maggie, if, if you're all right with it. Sure. At least I'm not going to to sleep anytime soon. Well, wish me luck. Oh, you can do this. Oh. oh. Just remember, see you and the baby first. Okay. Okay. See you later. Bye. I guess Erica's just gonna have to accept Bianca's baby as a fact of life. She's a strong woman. I'm sure she can take it. Hmm. Well, it's not Erica I'm worried about. It's Bianca. More hot chocolate? No, thank you. Maggie, may I ask you something? Sure. What? Uh, Bianca's decided not to hide her pregnancy anymore. Are you upset because you think she's making a mistake? Or because you won't be going away and having Bianca and the baby all to yourself. You know, this is taking a while. You don't have to wait around. That's all right. I told Bianca I'd be here when she gets back. Well, it could take hours. I don't mind. Unless you'd like me to leave so you can get some rest. No, no, it's, it's okay. I mean, I'm not going to sleep until she gets home anyway. I guess if that textbook doesn't put you out, nothing will, huh? <laughs> Read the same page six times. You never answered my question. Does it really matter what I think? It matters to Bianca. Telling Erica about the baby is a huge decision for her, and you don't you disagree with it. Writing, you don't. No, I don't. I think it would be good for Bianca to get this whole thing out in the open. Do you know what Erica's reaction is going to be when she finds out? I mean, come on, she was all about Bianca terminating this pregnancy. That was never Erica's it, decision to make. It doesn't matter. It's everything that Erica doesn't want for Bianca. She's going to freak out. And then Bianca's just going to make sure that Erica's okay rather than taking care of herself. I don't think so. Bianca said the baby's her priority now. Well, yeah, that's what she says. But what about when Erica refuses to even look at this child? I think you're getting way ahead of yourself. No, I'm not. It's going to be just like when Bianca was first raped. That's why she shouldn't say anything. Our trip was never the issue. I really don't think you should worry. I will personally make sure that Bianca takes time out for herself, no matter what Erica says. Oh, really? And what about me? I live with her. I'm her best friend. I'm not shutting you out. I, I, I just think that you have enough going on already with your studies and everything. Oh, please. My studies and the opportunity that you've been waiting for, Lena. My only concern is Bianca's well-being. Is it really? You don't believe that? You know what? I think it's time that we just get everything out in the open. I couldn't agree more. Lena, what did you think would happen? Bianca and you would make up and, what, I'd just disappear? Nikki, where's this coming from? Nobody's asking you to disappear. We invited you to spend New Year's Eve with us. 
No, Bianca asked me, not you. You act like I'm in the way. I I'm sorry, that's not what I intend, but why we're on the subject, do you treat me any better? You told me yourself you don't think I'm the right woman for Bianca. Well, I'm entitled to my own opinion. Well, it doesn't make it any easier to hear. You don't think I deserve another chance? I'm not the one who has to forgive you. No, you're not. Bianca is, and she has. I know how much she values your friendship, and I also know what it'll do to her if we can't find a way to get along. My friendship with Bianca has nothing to do with you, Dina. I mean, I was here way before you were. Oh, and you'll be here way after I'm gone, right? Yeah, if that's the way it goes. I mean, if you guys ran off to a deserted island, I mean, I'd still be your best friend. We're supposed to be honest, right? Yeah, right. Right then. Honestly, I'm not convinced that all you feel for